Hey everyone, I'm Daisy with dherbs.com. Here at dherbs, we get a lot of health-related questions, and today we're gonna answer some viewer questions about inflammation. Our first question comes from Kevin. Hi dherbs, I just got diagnosed with chronic inflammation, but the doctors wouldn't give me any antibiotics. This has to be wrong, yeah? Kevin. Kevin, this is fiction. Inflammation can be a result of an infection, but there are a number of things that can cause it. Many of them are issues with how your body regulates the inflammation process itself. Your doctor should be able to give you more detail about what exactly is wrong in your case, but if they don't think there's enough evidence of a bacterial infection, they're right not to use any antibiotics. Our next question is from Patricia. Hey dearbs, I've had issues with inflammation for a while now, and I've been looking online at possible things I could do to make it less bad. Everyone says changing your diet is the way to go, but I'm not convinced that's for real. Patricia. Patricia, this is a fact. Diet changes are one of the most effective ways of controlling inflammation, especially if the inflammation occurs in the digestive system, because some food molecules like saturated fats can trigger inflammation. So talking to your doctor about a diet that reduces any triggers for inflammation could help relieve your symptoms. Other factors like sleeping more, exercising, and trying to reduce stress can also help relieve your symptoms. Our final question comes from Leslie. Hi, dearbs. My sister has inflammation in her bowels that messes with her all the time. Her doctors can't seem to do much about it, but I keep telling her it can't be that bad and it'll go away. Like, that's just what the body does when it's trying to heal you up. You can't rush it. But she doesn't believe me. Can you please make her see sense? Best, Leslie. Leslie, this is fiction. Inflammation is a reaction from the body's immune system, and when it is triggered by an injury and short-lived, it is a helpful and important part of the healing process. The problem is, the immune system doesn't always get it right. Autoimmune disorders where the immune system attacks healthy tissues are very common and very painful and very difficult to treat, including because they cause unnecessary inflammation. There's no reason to not believe your sister when she tells you she's struggling with difficult and painful experience. It's a common one and deserves compassion. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Fact or Fiction. If you have a question you want answered, you can email us at factorfiction at dherbs.com or message us on social media. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and don't forget to stay healthy.